A final night of community input before the city moves forward with naming a new top cop. Dozens of candidates have applied to be CPD's next superintendent. Mike Flannery has more from Beverly tonight, where more than 200 residents packed into a contentious meeting. One of the big debates here at the Beverly Arts Center tonight, should the next top cop come from inside the Chicago PD? We need a superintendent from within the department to keep morale high and be acclimated with this city as with this department. There is not one cop in the Chicago Police Department that deserves to be superintendent because you know, from my understanding, they are not solving murders. In addition to complaining about police not solving violent crime, there was a lot of frustration tonight with how much violence the city has to endure. We need to be done with the killing here. We need to be done with the shooting. We need to stop. You don't want trouble in Beverly? If you don't take care of the problems in the troubled neighborhoods, they're coming. We really need mental health support for all of us citizens, but really important for the police officers. We don't need stressed out guys running around with guns on the street. Afterwards, the president of the Community Commission for Public Safety and Accountability that oversaw this series of hearings said the plan is to provide Mayor Johnson with three recommendations for superintendent by July 14th. Mayor Johnson is not informing our process. Mayor Johnson has not put his thumb on the scale. I've had one conversation with him after the election. I've also known him for years, and he's committed to having an open and public transparent process. After the new community commission on police accountability delivers its three candidates to Mayor Johnson, he could refuse all of them and force the commission to come up with another list. On the south side at 111th and Western, I'm political editor Mike Flannery.